What's going on guys? Gabe here with the View Dork. First time visiting this channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, join in on the conversation below, and make sure you follow me on Twitter because I give alerts on Twitter. Alerts of what? Stocks, you idiot. We're going to talk about AMC and we're going to kill all debate. But before I do, I just want to give a shout out to those knuckleheads over at Greenfield Toyota in Massachusetts. The whole sales team are a bunch of apes. And I hope you're watching this video because it's not like you're selling fucking cars. Nobody's got supply. In fact, they're probably selling you cars maybe uh oldsmobile achieva holy crap that was my first car apple jacks what year were you born i was born in 2000 wow i had a 96 oldsmobile achieva that was back in the day when i was picking up half star hookers and going to one star motels you know the type of places where 40 bucks for four hours come back seven minutes later give the key talk about uh, place was dirty wasn't my fault now let's go ahead and talk about the stock here because amc we had a low of 3276 and we are currently making our move back to the vwap and this is something we like to see because today a bloody day let's go ahead and look the dow jones industrial average red nasdaq red S&P, red. I find all this interesting. I mean, we have, uh, you know, the Fed saying, well, inflation is worse than we expected. No shit. We talked about this, and this is referring to CPI data and bottlenecks causing artificial inflation. Got to accept it. Talk about bottlenecks. We see that in the automotive industry. And <laughs> I tell you what, you're getting 1985 vehicles. My God, Mercury Sables guys going for 2,500 over MSRP is just wild. We live in wild times and it's all about supply and demand. And that is what's driving up inflation. So should we expect a taper from the feds? Well, they're saying sooner rather than later. And I'd say this, if we know it's coming, then now is the time to print and make as much green as possible. Institutions know this. Hedge funds know this. It's a ticking time bomb. It's a race. We race to accumulate as much wealth as we can so that we can sustain ourselves through uncertainty. All right. What does that mean? You hold diamond encrusted nuts. I don't care if it's contracts. I don't care if it's uh, equities like AMC. You hold. We're going to make that money. Let's go ahead and end a lot of debates and, uh, you know, you now the AMC movements become quite clickish. And, uh, you know, whether you follow Lou or Matt or Trey or Short the Bigs or Jeffy Forbes or Wrench Capital, I have varying degrees of likeness to all those guys, but hey, I love them. I love them for what they do. Now let's talk about that for a second because we're all providing different perspectives and different ideas. All those different perspectives, you know, instead of saying, well, this guy's wrong or that guy's wrong, this guy's right, everybody else is wrong. Let me just prove something to you. And this is absolutely unrehearsed. Applejacks, spell there. T-H-E-R-E. -E. You could also spell it T-H-E-I-R. Now on impulse, you gave me a specific spelling and you are correct. On impulse, I would give you a specific spelling and I would be correct. No one's really wrong here. Our job on the other side of the camera is to provide you information and out of the box thinking that will help you maintain your conviction in the stock. That's why we exist. Now, I tweeted, I'm not on camera for you to love me. I'm here for you to hate me because I'm going to make you uncomfortable. I'm going to challenge your thought process and hopefully make better traders out of you. You're not going to like me until you say this ain't fucking Sesame Street period. Maybe then you still might not like me. But you know what? When followers and subscribers build my portfolio, only then will I consider toe porn. Until then, I focus on the markets and I'm going to give it to you guys straight. So with AMC, again, making the move back to the VWAP, we had a bloody morning. And you know what? NASDAQ bloody, techs are bloody, my contracts are bloody. Looking like a used tampon. And I've said that joke before, but seriously, whatever is blood red, that's just the best descriptor. What we see is AMC has broken above the 50 period moving average. Now, guys, all equities, not just AMC, they like to gravitate to lines and the 50 MA, we broke. We want to see a break above VWAP. And when we go to the four hour daily, we see that the stock has essentially respected this downtrend. And we have a couple of catalysts. Now the naysayers, the guys who are just 
fucking Karens about everything, getting all emotional about the stock, saying it'll never happen, it'll never squeeze. I was literally brought up by Jamaicans, and I'll say this, go suck your mother. What we are seeing is a stock acting like a stock catalyst. We have catalysts such as Spider-Man, Applejack secured his tickets, I secured my tickets, and we don't know what 2022 will hold, but I would like to see a reversal of fortune. You want to make money in this market? You have to have a long-term horizon. In between that time, we're just entertaining you guys, exploring different ideas, helping you maintain your conviction in your diamond hands or your diamond encrusted nuts. And that's all we're here for. I'm not here to be right. I'm not here for you to like me or love me. I'm just here for you to say, okay, hmm, that's something for me to chew on. That's something for me to think about. And I think that every personality, whether it be on Twitter or YouTube, is essentially trying to do the same. This is not the Giants versus the Eagles or the Giants versus the Cowboys. This is all of us. We're all just a bunch of fucking dumb apes like those idiots over in Greenfield Toyota. And we're waiting for our attendees. This is Gabe. I'm signing out. Peace.